If you failed Nona November and you accidentally busted a fat one of Mia Khalifa on Twitter, watch this video. It's Nona November. It's the challenge where everybody stops beating their meat or stops busting in general. Maybe they have a girlfriend and they stop busting or maybe they're addicted to a website and they bust every single day and they want to try to stop this month. Who knows? Whatever you guys are on. Anyways, if you relapse in Nona November, watch this video because I'm going to give y'all some tips. I'm going to give y'all some tips that help me get this far in my journey. Right now, I am currently on 156 or 57 days of NoFap. Let me guys, let me show you guys. So I, 158 days of NoFap. Now, how did I get this far at the age of 18 with my hormones that are all-time high where I want to smash? Let me tell you. First of all, if you're looking at Nona November as a challenge, that's where you get it wrong in the first place. Nona November, not beating your meat is a real addiction. It's something everybody goes through, bro everybody goes through but it's not a challenge bro trying to stop an addiction is not a challenge you're addicted you're addicted to watching the hub and beating your meat you're addicted and you or if you're not addicted and you're trying to stop beating your meat you know keep going but like there's a lot of people in this world that are addicted and they gotta accept that first of all and they gotta realize how it's affecting them and why it's a problem so this is not a challenge it's a lifestyle this is a new life this is not a 30-day challenge bro you can't just stop that for 30 days you've been doing it for eight years straight you know what i mean so it's gonna take time i, I guess it's good for people to find on in november so they can find no fat and semen retention and all that but at the same time, this is a lifestyle. It's not really a challenge, at least to me, because I want to take this serious. This is, I don't want to bust meaningless nuts to me a Khalifa on Twitter anymore. That's not me anymore, bro. I don't want to be that down bad fat kid that been in, goes in the bathroom and busts a quick one too, like a thotty that has OnlyFans. You know what I mean? I don't want to be that person anymore. I don't, I don't even want to support these succubus either. Because you guys realize when you give these succubuses views, that's why all the succubuses nowadays that are rich and famous, I Spice and all these thotties are the popular ones and the younger generations are looking at these thotties and they, they want to be like that. So you guys have got to prepare for the next generation because the next generation is going to be filled with thoughts. So prepare, bro. So I look at it as a deeper level. I look at this no fat stuff as a deeper level. I don't look at it as just not being your me. I look at it because I want to be part of the people that are trying to build themselves, trying to improve. I don't want to be part of the other 99% where they're supporting these thotties and watching their Pornhub videos and giving them views. I don't want to be part of that. So that's just, I'm going to make it, that's separate. I, I'm getting off track. But anyways, what I was trying to say is this is not a challenge. It's a lifestyle. And what I mean by that, you got to take it serious. This is not just a one month thing. This is going to be the rest of your life and until you get married or have a girlfriend, whatever. No more of this. No more of this. No more of this. Okay. So what you need to do is delete social media. Get off social media because that you use this thing to relapse. You use this thing to relapse. Get off the phone. Stop being so addicted to this thing. Start hitting the gym. Go do stuff. Go talk to people in real life. Go get your social skills up. You know, you want to get off social media and do stop doing all that. You know what I mean? You don't want to be down bad. You don't want to be this EDP fat dude, 30 years old that can't get grown women. So you go after little kids. I'm not saying you're going to do that, but I'm saying, you know what I mean? Go outside, bro. Stop being on this phone all day and comparing yourself to everybody. And then, you know, you see some thotty and you want to go bust. You know what I mean? You want to, you want to be big, bro. You don't want to put these thotties on a pedestal. They're not God. Like I seen a video of this dude at an Ice Spice concert of Ice Spice shaking her big fat plastic booty on stage. Or maybe it's not plastic. It's real, but she was twerking, right? She was shaking that thing. Oh, that was gay. That was gay. That was gay. She was shaking that thing, right? And this dude literally passed out. He said. And he passed out like these, bro. From Ice Spice shaking her butt. He passed out like like an anim like anime character on the floor, like with blood out coming out the nose and stuff. Like an anime character, bro. Passed out because he saw a big booty shaking. Now, he was that down bad where he passed out, really. He see he, he looked like he seen Jesus Christ himself, Lord and Savior himself. But he was just it was just Ice Spice shaking her butt. Now, that's damn bad. Now, that, that guy needs Jesus Christ himself. Now, he passed out like he seen Lord. He seen the Lord. He passed out, bro. He was gone. Security had to catch them and everything. I seen a video like that. So I'm just saying, bro, you don't want to end up like that. So this is not a challenge. It's a lifestyle, first of all. Now, the second thing, this one's a little more serious because I know I was goofing off in the beginning of the video, but you want to forgive yourself because you probably relapsed. You want to forgive yourself. Now, you got to realize you got to lose to win. Now, this is not a one-time thing. The only time you ever fail is when you give up. So when you bust a nut and you relapse and you're feeling bad about yourself and you're talking, you're trash about yourself and you're like, oh, I can't do this, this and that. You're talking about, shut up. Tell your brain to shut up. This is not a challenge, bro. Like I said, this is a lifestyle. If you fail, it's okay. Keep going. You only fail when you give up. That's why you can't give up. Forgive yourself, bro. Look at the mistakes you made. What made you relapse? Like I said, your phone, okay? Learn from your mistakes. That's the biggest thing in this journey. Learn from your mistakes. You don't want to stay stuck in a cycle where you just give up and you don't even try to learn from your mistakes. You just, ah, let me try again. Let me try again. Let me still have Twitter and try again. No, bro, you got to forgive yourself when you relapse. You have to, bro. You know how many times I relapse? You know how many times I really, I can't even count, bro. Like, a hundred thousand times, bro. hundred thousand times, probably. I relapsed tons of times, and there's been plenty of times where I, I've been down bad because I've been trying so hard on NoFap. Say I'll get to like four days, and I'll bust the fat one because I got an urge at night. You know what I mean? You just got to change habits up. Now what I do at night? Meditate. Or I work out, so at night I'm super tired, and I just watch One Piece and go to bed. You know what I mean? But when I was addicted to the hub, which I'm not in anymore, but back when I was addicted to hub, I'll put my phone far away. I'll go put it in my mom's room. I'll go put it far away, somewhere where I can't get it, power my phone off, delete 
Twitter, make it hard for you to relapse. Make it hard for you to get to that app and relapse. You gotta delete everything, bro. Delete that social media app, delete that account you used to relapse, delete it all so you cannot relapse. So that's what I did. And um, now I don't have an issue with porn at all. I have no porn in my heart. I don't wanna watch no big titties bouncing. And I praise God for that. I'm, I'm a Christian, as you guys can see. Jesus Christ took it out of my heart. So I don't even want it. I just went on a date with a girl right now. I literally just got back from a date with a girl I met. I don't wanna have sex with her. I generally don't wanna have sex with her. I wanna get to know her. Date, you know, because I feel like in this generation, everybody has it twisted where you just, you know, if you don't get it the first day, it's all, oh, man, I, I don't know. I'm not really into hookup culture, so I want to get to know her. I just literally just got out of a date and I literally have no desire to have sex. I don't. I'm not horny at all. She, she's very beautiful, by the way. I don't want to have sex. I already told her that too. I told her that. So I just want to tell you guys on this journey, bro, when you really take it serious, you really dig deep into your brain and cut the roots, you change as a person. You change as a person. And I honestly, I'm glad I did this for myself. Three years ago, myself would have thanked me now. He would thank me now. I would probably kiss myself in the mouth three years ago. Like if my, I seen my person from three years ago, big fat, down bad kid, ugly, very ugly. I probably put a picture up right now. Down bad and not on no fat and trying no fat, but he just kept feeling. He'll probably see me now and give me a big hug because he's just that grateful. This is how bad I wanted this. I'm very grateful about this day count. And I'm pretty sure if you guys get to this day count, you would too. And this is, this is not, it's not even about the day count. That's another thing. The third thing on this journey, bro, stop counting the days, make the days count. Make the days count. Every day is another day to use your day. Stop wasting your time on your phone all day, trying not to beat your meat. Go to the gym, go outside, like I said, bro. Go do stuff, go talk to your mom. Go make some food, bro. Stop going out to eat, bro. Go cook, go cook up something in the, in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Go make a video, go make a YouTube video. Go pet your dog, go hang out with your dog. You know what I mean? Stop being on this phone all day because you use your phone to relapse. Get off your phone, buddy. Make the day count. This life is way too short for you to be on your phone all day. Go live, go live life, bro. Life is a video game. You have to level up. Stop playing the game all day and leveling up in the game. Go level up in real life. Go live, bro. You don't got to be like David Goggins to run 100 miles. Just go live. Get off your phone all day. That's the reason probably why you feel depressed too. You need to do stuff as humans, bro. God has, God made us to do things. He didn't make us to sit on our phone all day and scroll on TikTok. He did not make us for that. Y'all got to realize that, man. That helps on NoFap too. Self-improvement is NoFap, so it really all adds up. Everything I post on my channel, it all adds up. And it helps you a lot, just mentally. You know what I mean? You have a lot of mental clarity. There's a lot of benefits to this uh, NoFap stuff, guys. It's not just about not being your meat. You guys gotta realize that on NoFap. The people that are trying to do NoFap probably don't even know that. They don't even know the benefits. Learn the benefits of NoFap if you're on NoFap or you're no none November, same thing. Learn the benefits, bro. Learn the benefits because that would help you get motivation too and help you even want to better because as humans, bro, we want to get better anyways. You know, it's just natural for us to want to get better. And yeah, bro, if you relapse on no none November, I hope you watched all the way through because... This is real advice, bro. Real advice that helped me. Like I said, bro, every day is another day to get better. Don't give up on this journey. Don't. Just because you relapse in November doesn't mean there's another day to keep trying. It's just a month. It's GMO. Keep going. Keep going, bro. Every day is another regular day. It gets sunny and it gets dark every single day. Same thing, just a different day. So, and yeah, just keep taking care of yourself, bro. Oh, there's another thing you should do after you relapse is make sure you get the right nutrition in because when you bust a nut, your semen has nutrition in it. I'm probably going to make another video on five things you should do after you relapse. Um, anyways... I'm going to end the video right here. Uh, see you guys on the next one. Make sure you guys take care. Uh, do good things for yourself.